Hey Saab people, welcome back to the channel. I have a quick video for you today. It is about rear differentials on the Saab 93 models from 2008 up to 2012 or whenever they ended Saab because I can't remember exactly what year it is. So let's go ahead and get started because this is just going to be a real quick video. There are two different models of the rear differential. There is an electronic and then there is just a plain limited slip. The original model was the 2008 Aero cross-wheel drive. And so this utilized a Haldex 4 system without electronic limited slip. And so this system allowed you to deliver more power either to the front or to the rear, depending on where you needed your power. So if you're taking off, it'll deliver more power to the rear wheels or to the front wheels, depending on what situation you're in, how your traction is, uh, whatever the car senses you need, that's where we'll deliver the power. But the difference with that compared to the electronic limited slip is the electronic one can actually move your torque from side to side. And this may not be news to you guys, but it's news to me. I had no idea what the difference was until I was servicing them and I almost put an electronic limited slip pump into a non-electronic system. And the way that you can tell the difference with your car is either by year, so only the 2008 cross-wheel drives, uh, the Aero specifically, the Turbo X had electronic. That was the first car with the electronic because the Turbo X was a 2008 car. By year or by look at the pump. The pump that is electronic will have two plugins on it. If you follow the wire on the edge of the pump up to the, um, the plug-in areas, there will be two areas where it plugs in. And for the regular lim limited slip, there is one plug-in. The electronic limited slip, uh, like I said, has the power to deliver power from side to side. It can actually put 40% more of the torque that's going to your rear wheels from left to right, depending on where you need your traction. Now, this is better for both going in straight lines, cornering, and takeoff in slippery conditions. And... It's all computer controlled, as you can tell, because it's electronic. That is really your best bet. Now, both are good. There's no problem, you know, really with either one, except for when they're not working. And I just got mine working. I've driven both with electronic limited slip and with the regular. And I can tell you the electronic does make a bit of a noticeable difference, but really only for cornering from what I've noticed. Anyway, so that's the quick explanation. I hope that helped you out because if I had seen a video like this, it certainly would have helped me out because I had no idea that there was a difference until just recently. And you can't just really look up LSD versus ELSD different sob. Nothing comes up. If you want more information, let me know and I will put it in the link or I will send it to you over DM if you message me on Instagram. Uh, a channel update will be coming up in a few minutes and yeah. I'll see you next time.